In this video, you'll see how to optimize application performance with AWS X-Ray. With this service, you can determine the root cause of an issue, understand which end users are impacted and to what extent, and create sampling rules. AWS X-Ray helps developers analyze and debug distributed production applications, such as those built using a microservices architecture. To get started, let's navigate to X-Ray and briefly survey its capabilities. X-Ray provides an end-to-end -end view of requests as they travel through your application and shows a map of your application's underlying components. Let's take a look at the web application that is generating the trace data for this service map. This application is composed of different microservices, including the front-end, an image service, a product catalog, a product recommendation service, and a shopping cart. As the services in this application are utilized, the application collects data about requests. Let's select a product to view. Here you can see related products. Let's select this watch. Now let's add it to the cart. This application is already set up to generate trace data. The data it captured as we used the application is sent back to AWS X-Ray. Let's return to the service map in AWS X-Ray. As users act within the application, AWS X-Ray collects the traces to generate this service map. The map shows the paths that the requests take in the application and the time it takes to complete requests. Let's zoom in for a closer view. You can see the different ways clients generate requests in the application. You can also see how those requests are passed on to other microservices that are part of the application. Next, let's see how to apply filters to the service map and view service details. You can adjust the time range to control the amount of data to view. This is data from the past 5 minutes. Let's adjust the time range to view data from the last 6 hours. Now you can see additional trace paths that were not present in the last 5 minutes of data. You can also search for a specific service when there's a large number of services on the map. Let's search for front end. Notice that the map zooms in on the service you select. It also opens the service details pane which includes additional data and visualizations on how the service is performing, including the latency distribution of responses. You can view details for any service on the map. Let's select Image Service. You can also use filter expressions to search for specific traces. Let's select the Help icon. Here you can see how to use custom expressions to narrow down the search. For example, let's search for all traces with a response time greater than half a second. You can use this type of search to identify where your application is performing slowly. Next, let's return to the service map to see how to create groups. You can use groups to generate additional service graphs and supply Amazon CloudWatch metrics. A group is a collection of traces that are defined by a filter expression. For now, let's return to the service map. You can see that not every ring is completely green, which indicates that a percentage of service requests result in an error or fault. For example, the catalog service has a 2% error rate. Let's filter for responses that resulted in an error and view the traces to investigate what caused the 2% error rate. Here you can see the URLs that resulted in an error. You can also group the traces by different criteria. Let's group by status code. Notice that most errors are from status code 500, which indicates an internal server error. Now let's group by instance. You can see that the errors are spread across different instances of the application. Applications can be instrumented to send custom annotation data. In this case, this application has been configured to send data on different user IDs. As you can see, you can also group traces by these IDs. Notice that there is also an annotation to record product ID data. Let's group traces by this ID. You can see that all the errors are caused by a single product ID in the application. Let's select this product ID to investigate the trace results further. 
Now you can select an individual trace to see more details about it. Let's select the first trace. Here you can see the different services that are part of this trace. In this case, the trace has three segments, the front end, catalog service, and DynamoDB. Notice that the front end segment has a fault status. Let's click on that segment for more information. Here you can see an overview of the data for the segment, along with other details such as resources and annotations. You can also see that the catalog service is generating an error, which can be investigated as the root cause of the 2% error rate. Let's take a look at the raw data. You can view and copy the raw data in JSON format for any trace. Now let's go back to the trace overview. Let's clear the filter on the trace results. Removing the filter provides an overview of all the traces that have been collected from the application. You can group all the traces by the criteria shown before, such as status code. You can then filter the traces by selecting a specific status code. Let's select status code 200. Now let's sort the traces by response time and select the slowest trace. Here you can see that the catalog service took two and a half seconds to respond to this request. Next, let's see how you can use the AWS X-Ray console to configure sampling rules for your services. Sampling rules enable you to control the amount of data you record and modify sampling behavior immediately without modifying or redeploying your code. You can also implement sampling rules to control cost or filter out unwanted requests. Let's create a sampling rule to override the default rule in certain situations. For this example, let's name the rule Read Data and give it the highest priority. Let's set the fixed rate at 10%. Now that we've provided the rule information and limits, let's choose the criteria for the front-facing services that determine which requests to match. You can create sampling rules for specific services or service types. In this case, let's apply this rule to HTTP GET requests. Now let's create the sampling rule. The new rule will have precedence over the default sampling rule because we assigned it with higher priority. From the Getting Started page, you can launch a sample application or learn how to instrument your own application. Let's choose Instrument Your Application. You can review guidance about adding instrumentation to applications built on several common platforms. You can also use the full API documentation to add a custom X-ray integration to your application. You've just seen how to optimize application performance with AWS X-ray. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.